much of that online myself when I was gone. It's interesting to see what kind of developments can happen, whether they've been labbing, whether they've been taking the time off, and what potential changes in their gameplay they will be. But I have a distinct feeling that it might be uh, very much what we're familiar with, but let's find out. Yeah, it is also... Oh, we're getting off this game with a great start. Did he just go for the upbeat? Did I see the starting frames of that? If so, that was really good on... Uh on Dill's part to throw out that uh, the, the forward air, Rob's quickest aerial option. Mm -hmm. Dude, looking for these knees and almost finding them twice, three oh, yes. times. This this is the classic. The Dill recovery is one of the hardest things to come. Yo! Nice conversion off the down air. All right, taking a stock lead early on and not a whole lot of percent to show for it. Very good position to be in. And we're in this, we saw that this was how stock one started. All right, I like this going way low in order. To, yeah, Dill's recoveries can be so tricky to deal with. And not only that, but they're adaptive. You know, they change the way they play in order to um, not fall for the same trick twice, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting him in the very late hit of this back air. All right, yep, no fear on that one. And we're seeing Gatsby get through a lot of the... Um, a lot of the projectile walls over here, he jumped in when he got him off the stage earlier and spot dodged the laser. He was like, oh yeah, I know it's coming. Ooh, scary. There's, a lot of hitboxes out here. I will say, there is a ton of bravery right now on Gatsby's part going deep. Ooh. Ooh. Caught himself on the gyro and that opened him up for a punish. Yeah, there was, of course, he had hit lag from touching that gyro, meaning that there was that much more time for Dill to react and prepare the forward smash. That, that down B normally can be a decent option for getting out of the corner, but, I mean, he basically had extra startup frames, if you think about it, because of the uh, the hit lag connection. Exactly, extra travel time. And now he's got him in a familiar place. This is, oh, got him. What? How did he, after all he, that time, how he, did he still find it? <laughs> he put the hitbox out there and it connected. He he had the right was, listen, that's what I would Ooh, do. No way. Okay, no, <laughs> Dill can make this back, but this is scary. I, I love the laser from Dill right there. That could have really messed up Gatsby on that recovery. Mm -hmm. But he got there just in time. All and right, no knee on that one. Nice. A B, why not, if you've got this kind of lead? All right, chase oh. him up. Uh, uh oh. That should. That, no, he's not fine. quite yet. Rob side B hit. Very high base knockback. Not a lot of knockback growth, though. Mm -hmm. Scary. The double jump pressure. Yeah, and you could see these sort of panic defensive options starting to come out from Dill. But at the same time, so far has, you know, kept their wits about them. Only 73% on them. And, yeah, you can see the recovery changing it up, not getting hit by that same down air that we saw before. But at this point, Dill starting to get grabs. And Rob's grab, like once Rob starts getting grabs, that's when all of a sudden the damage, the edge guards come out. And just like that, we actually at a tie game. Dill with the lead, in fact. Mm -hmm. Climbing his way back up, or climbing their way back up in this one very quickly. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yep, he's going for it. Gatsby with no fear, going ooh. deep for the edge guard. He pays for it. And he would. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, that was, that was, I feel like that was a perfect slope of dominant edge guarding, good responses, good counter edge guarding. Yeah. Like, in one game. This, also, we had red sparks. Oh my god. He had red I, sparks from that. Wait, no, no let's check again. Let's Did, check again. I, I don't, I feel like that wouldn't be red, but I thought I saw red sparks. Mm hmm. Yes, oh, okay. you're right. All right. Yep, you are correct. Mm -hmm. And that is yep. one of those moves where, um, you know, the heavy hitter ones, time to react to that one. He just had to know. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, he's in that point, you're usually sort of almost, t you can be tunnel visioning, tunnel visioning on trying to get the hit, trying to close out the game. And so then all of a sudden, you know, wait, my character's the one who's flying backwards. And just, it can be hard to react to that. Mm -hmm. He did catch him in what looked like the startup of. Um, Falcons up the end that one. So he might have also been trying to recover at that point. But uh, we'll not know inside his mind. We will, however, see the game two. Yeah, and, and we'll it looks like we're going to be getting Kalos as the counter pick. What are your thoughts on this particular stage as uh, the, the answer? Well, I will say that I do like Kalos personally uh, for the recovery option going onto the platforms. Ooh, that's deep. That's not going to. Yep, that's not going to quite kill Rob. 
but um, I do like, as a defensive measure, having the platforms on the side here to potentially mix up, because Falcon's recovery is fairly linear. He can throw out a lot of hitboxes, and he does have very good aerial movement speed, um, but he'll benefit from it more than Dill will, who already has uh, so many movement options yeah. to try to get back to stage. On top of that, we haven't really seen ledge traps coming out that much, but it can be useful for Gatsby to get off of the ledge, mm -hmm. uh, especially because Rob Gyro right at the ledge can be an incredibly difficult thing to, to deal with for a lot of characters. So sometimes just jumping and retreating to that top platform can be at least an answer to that. Mm -hmm. okay. And Gatsby's still not showing any fear and trying to at least put a presence out there for these edge guards. Mm. Oh, that's an air dodge, though. He has no air there. dodge available to him right now. Yep, nice. Oh, okay, he got it back, yeah. Yep. All right. So, <laughs> kicking the gyro almost opened himself up to a punish, but that's all right. No harm done. Off of the gyro, <laughs> very nice. Just a little bit of extra chip. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's always fun to see. Nice, good DI yeah. on that one. That's a little tricky. That's I another reason why this stage could be good, is that extra ceiling, but still that extra survivability didn't really help out that much because he still ended up losing that stock. It was at 160, which is pretty good, but... You know, I, I have a feeling also that as this game drags on, Dill's adaptation is so good, I don't really predict seeing Gatsby surviving to 160 every single stock. Mm -hmm. and not only that, I feel like we've seen a little bit of change in uh, Dill's game plan as they move backwards and do a little bit more of defensive zoning. Not that they weren't doing that already, but just playing a little further back, and Gatsby's still got to try to make that adaptation, but they are still playing the lift very well. I like that patience on the ledge from Dill, just trying to really be careful about the exact opening. But at this point here, okay, Gatsby once again in control at the ledge, but Dill showing some tricks. That Robo Beam coming out and actually dealing decent damage. That Robo Beam does like over 20%, I think, at least the full version. Mm -hmm. The charges are, it's very difficult to keep track of because Rob has two separate projectiles with different uh, methods of how to charge him, and then they've got, uh, the rocket travel up. So you've got multiple resources to keep track of specifically for their recovery, let alone gimping them. That up is still not enough to do it. Gatsby struggling to end this first stock from Dill, whereas Dill oh, has already managed out. to get 113% on him. And this is what's so scary about trying to edge guard Rob. Go in too deep, Rob takes the stage with their projectiles, and that's a really bad place to be. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is not where you want to be. All right, I mean, going deep, that's fine. Get the stock. Only one stock behind. This is still very doable. Captain Falcon has quite the explosive power. Yeah, I, at this point, I will say that Dill has air dodged out of combos a few times already. So it's this is it could very well be that ultimate sort of mix-up game. Is Gatsby going to try and bait out the air dodge, or is he going to predict that, you know, no, Dill's not going to air dodge for the third you know time in a row? <laughs> And we see Gatsby is still not afraid to go for the aggressive options, even down a stock here where playing conservatively may be a boon, but sometimes it's best to get in your opponent's face before they can put the pressure on you, and it looks like Gatsby's going for that one. All right, the double jump pressure. Gyro making it a little difficult to put the pressure on at that particular point in neutral, but he gets rid of it. Gatsby liking these neutral. It's a phantom footstool on shield, but... Okay, once again off stage, already taken 95%. He, he still went for the down air. All his resources spent. He still went for it. Oh, All right. the, oh yeah, that knee just barely not getting the sweet spot. And now Gatsby's once more uh, off stage, oh. and that's going to be it. Yeah, great snipe at the very end there from Dill. That's going to be a 2-0 victory. You know, Dill, one of the perennial PR in New York, showing exactly why right here. Mm-hmm. And not only was it the snipe, he's got the air dodge. So there's not really anything he can do about it at that point. He has his air dodge back. Mm -hmm. And he's got the jump. And gone. Yeah. All right. So, oh man, so many of these players I haven't seen in so long. And it's just a pleasure to watch them work again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Uh, by the way.